Hey guys, welcome to the 5M guide. How to install 5M for your GTA 5. So yeah, you probably didn't think there'd be custer touch sitting beside me, but guess what? They're not real, it's just a picture I took, but yeah, they look good, right? They look good, what do you think? I don't know why I looked at the green screen there, that was weird. But anyway, let's get to the point here. So basically, look up 5M in your Google search bar. You'll come to 5M.net, I'll leave a link in the description below. You're gonna see download client. You're gonna click on that. Now you're gonna read the uh, you know platform service agreement, and then you click sure I agree. You're gonna install it. This is gonna pop up, and you're gonna go open when done. All right, so we don't need that anymore. You can get rid of the 5M website now. So this will pop up. What this will do is it will add 5M and 5M single player to your desktop. Oh, whoops, you can't see that on my screen. Uh, right there, as you can see. So that's what it's going to add right there for you. And we're going to update 5M itself. So I'll get back to you once the update's done here real quick. I'll just do a quick cut. All right, guys, here we are. It is nearly complete. Come on, come on, here we go. And boom, it is complete. Okay, select the folder containing Grand Theft Auto 5. So if you don't know where that is, go into whichever hard drive you have. I have three, um, and find your program files. Now, uh, before we go in, you might be wondering what this is, Grand Theft Auto moved. For some servers, once you're on 5M, you will get another launcher to download that will give you other updates and stuff. So this could be a role-playing server, just something like that. Um, a lot of the time they require you to take that folder, your Grand Theft Auto, and leave it outside of where you originally have it, which I'll show you now. So yeah, just keep that in mind. You might have to move some folders in the future just to get some servers to work. But anyway, we're going to go into Program Files. You're going to go down to Steam. You're going to go to Steam Apps. You're going to go to Common. And then, boom, this is your Grand Theft Photo. This is where it will be for everyone. Um, different hard drives, as I said, though. So yours might not be in the same hard drive as mine. All right, so click on it. Select Folder. And then it will verify game content. And it's just checking for all the updates, your Grand Theft Auto's updated, stuff like that. And once this is done, it's just, come on, baby, come on, there we go, there we go, boom. Uh, the local 5M game cache is outdated and needs to be updated. This will copy 69.55 megabytes of data from the local disk and download basically a gig of data from the internet. Do you wish to continue? Uh, just click yes. And there we go. And then that will update that. So I'll be back once this update is done. All right, it's about to finish extracting update.rpf. So here we go. Here we go. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. And then it will say starting 5M. So now 5M will start up. It will connect to Rockstar. Do, 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 do. Download complete. It's ready to play. I don't know why I'm getting so many of these. That was nuts. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so there we go. All right, let's just make sure. Is it going to come up here? There we go. All right, perfect. It's coming up. And boom, you're now in 5M. And how this works is very simple. You will go onto the server list. All your servers are here. So the, a lot of these are public servers and whitelisted servers. So you'll see like not whitelisted. Is there any here that say whitelisted on them? All right, so there's, I can't really see any right now. But um, let's just do role play. If you do role play, it's usually there's a lot of whitelist. So a lot of these are whitelisted, all right? So when you find a whitelisted server on here, you might have to download a, another game launcher for it, which means you will most likely, as I said earlier, you'll have to move. Um, let me just bring this up for you again. Go into here, yeah. So you'll have to move, instead of your program files where your GTA is, you'll have to move it outside of that. So I've made another folder for it. And what that does is it helps them and their game launcher connect to Graph FL. It's weird. It's weird. I don't know why it's like that. I don't know why they can't seem to connect for all this stuff. No idea. But um, yeah, I hope this guide helped you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try answer them if I can, if I can. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Boy. Oh, by the way, leave a like for the custard tarts, right?